a couple of days ago a viewer reached out to me because he wanted to be able to have a split screen on his Apple CarPlay. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to answer that question. I was a little embarrassed that I didn't know this. Led to this exchange with my wife later that evening. Did you know that you could do a split screen and show your navigation and your music that's playing on the screen at the same time? I did. Don't tell her. I didn't know that. You didn't? Not until earlier today. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to go out and just learn everything that I could about Apple CarPlay uh, and share it with y'all. So the top square, it's a shortcut to the navigation system, and it's going to go to whichever navigation you've used most recently. So right now it's showing Apple Maps, but I also have Google Maps on there, and if I open up Google Maps, it's going to change to Google Maps right there. The second button down here is going to be for music or podcasts or anything you're listening to through Apple CarPlay. Use Google Podcasts most recently, so that's what's showing there. But if it, again, if I hit Amazon Music, then that would, would replace that icon. The third box down here is going to be for other system functions. Right now it's showing the phone icon, but if I had gone into my settings, then that's going to show up on there. Speaking of settings, when we open Driving Focus, silences, alerts, and notifications but it will allow incoming calls to come through. And when you have the driving focus turned on, you have this little car symbol that shows up. Then on my phone screen, I also get the driving focus. If I tap on that, then I can come in and uh, change the settings. When you get into the settings menu, you want to choose focus and then choose driving. The loud notification section up here allows you to receive notifications, calls and notifications from anybody that you add to this list. So I can come in here and add my wife. Then below that, you can also allow anyone to call you, no one favorites, all contacts, or repeated calls. So it allows you to customize what phone calls and notifications you receive based off of your personal preferences. You can also come in and add it and uh, choose who you're going to send an auto reply to as well as customize that auto reply message that you send. You can also automate when the focus status turns on, if it'll be automatic when you're connected to a car Bluetooth or manually turning on. There's also the on off switch for activating with CarPlay. Announced messages. Series are going to announce and read new messages to you. So you like your text messages and whatnot. Then you have uh, options here. Message announcements are currently silenced. Uh, so we turn on that. Message announcements are on. Then you've got the little bell symbol. You also get a notification for any reminder that you've set a specific time and date to. They don't last long on there. So you've got to, uh, you got to catch hold of that reminder pretty quick. So it's already gone. This appearance button takes it from give it always dark or automatic and you can always show dark maps. So if we take it to automatic, then we get this light theme, uh, which during the day is going to be bright. In the evening, it's going to be a dark theme. Wallpaper. If I've got the suggestions and dashboard turned on, then uh, what will happen is on this main info page, this third box down here is a reminder from Siri that on my Apple calendar, we do have a, re a Ted Lasso rewatch party tonight from seven to eight o'clock. Looks like the reminder that pops up on here is gonna be for events that are scheduled within the next four hours. My screen currently shows this setup. And if I want to say I'm gonna use my, I wanna use my settings and move it to this first screen here, then I can't drag and drop. What I can do is go to my iPhone. When we go in here to the settings, then we wanna go down to general, and then we wanna to go to CarPlay. We wanna find the CarPlay connection that we're on. What I have to do is come in here to the customize screen, find my settings, press and hold. I'm gonna put it down in this bottom left-hand corner. And when I move back up here, my settings have moved. Hey, those custom screen settings are specific for each vehicle. So if you have CarPlay that you use on more than one vehicle, be sure to go in and customize how you want for each vehicle. So when you pop up on this screen in the bottom corner here, this is going to change your view. You get from the apps list to a home page view. This home page is going to show my now playing, then 
a map view of the navigation system that I've been using. I, I tend to like Google. These are shortcuts to open up my main Google Maps app. So if I press the voice, it's gonna add, basically I can tell it, find the address and where to go. Pressing the go button up here is gonna take me to my search page in Google Maps. And I can do recent searches, save places, all that stuff. Type in and then voice prompts. And it doesn't matter where I'm at on here. If I go restaurants, it's going to show me restaurants that are nearby. If I press that button, it's going to take me right back to that this main page. The cog button up here lets me change some different settings. I can take it out of satellite view, change the map colors, all the different things. Current traffic settings. When I am using Apple Maps or Google Maps for my navigation and I have a route planned, then instead of showing me the search functions or pin or favorites, then it's going to show me my next step on the route that I'm taking. Now, if I switch to Apple Maps, say I press the Maps button here. See my icon change over here to the Apple Maps icon. And I've got my Apple Maps as well as some pinned locations here. Now, originally when I opened this up, this top section up here only had these two favorites. When I went to my contact card and put my work address in there, then it added this icon. Now I did not see a way to customize the map view on the screen here for Apple Maps like there is for Google Maps where you can show terrain. And So if you know how to change the view on this, uh, drop it in the comments, let me know. With the Uconnect 5 radio system, RAM changed the way that they did voice recognition. If the radio doesn't have factory navigation, then voice commands can only be done through Siri or Google Assistant. The way to tell that you have factory navigation is just look on the screen. If there isn't a nav icon on the bottom row of buttons, then you don't have factory navigation and you'll have to use Siri or Google Assistant. I can activate Siri three different ways. If I've got Siri set up to where she's always listening to me, I can just use, hey Siri. Or I can press and hold this icon here. Or I can activate Siri by pressing and holding the VR button. The Ram icon here, uh, when I tried it on Ford, Chevy, Toyota, they all had their own icon that showed in this place. When I press this app button, it closes CarPlay and takes me back to my regular radio screen. And if you had a salesperson like she did, that didn't show you everything that you wanna know, well, here's another video that you can look at about some of the features on your vehicle. Look forward to seeing you there. Look up there, it's my Jeep. So I don't really mess with Apple CarPlay in here, um, but I did, uh, blah, 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 blah. Easy for you to say. I know.